Hello, it is Monday. It's the beginning of the week. I haven't vlogged, weekly vlogged in a little while now, but I'm excited to get back into it. I have, ever since my mom left, I've just put my head down and been working every day. I haven't really left my house. I'm trying to launch my shop because she was here for like, 16 days and I just wanted to focus on her and really be present and spend a lot of time with her I kind of put my shop to the side and now I'm really behind so I'm trying to get it launched as soon as possible Hopefully by the time you're watching this it's actually launched. This might be that vlog where I launch it Here is my outfit today. Well outfit number one I'm bringing a couple so that we can shoot them all in one go wearing my jumpsuit and I judged it up a little bit with a belt and a lace tank top on the inside I also push my bangs to the side, but they kind of peek out every now and then, so I need to keep doing this. Natalie's here. I'm just packing up all my stuff. I have a lot of stuff to bring with me for the day. Um, yeah, and we're going to head to a tea place first to do a tea ceremony. Lately, I'm really interested in teas because I'm trying to drink coffee less because... I'm gonna say this again, but I'm trying to get pregnant. Also, my skin is bad, and I notice the direct correlation with the more caffeine I drink, the worse my skin gets. I'm trying to cut down on it. Um, I know tea has caffeine too, but I don't know, something about coffee just. I'm trying to cut down a little. I'm trying to look at teas, look at the different health benefits and antioxidants and medicinal properties that tea has. There's so many good teas here in Asia too. Having it in the wrong way. I touch here, it <laughs> Even with the tray, it's useless. Why are you cringing? No, every time it's like, it's like, I'm so worried about you. Ah, oh, look at just left the tea place. I got changed because we're gonna shoot some other stuff. I'm now wearing our leather skirt, but usually there's a belt here. I just removed the belt and our blazer. And I bought some tea. I bought my favorite tea. It's the red oolong one. It's a roasted tea. Chinese people drink oolong tea a lot after dinner, especially if you eat something fatty because it helps you to digest and flush out the fat. And it is really good in winter because it's really warming. I feel so warm right now, so. <sighs> got got these and Natalie got the white white and um, tea yeah doesn't care that we're here. It just fell asleep. Oh my god, it's like my husband. He just shuts down anywhere. <laughs> my husband has that talent. He just shuts down like a robot anywhere and he can fall asleep. Animal vlog. Yeah, this is an animal vlog. Yeah. The animals of the streets of Hong Kong. Yeah. Dogs, cats, and even penis. Yep. glasses recently these ones are from gentle monster and i love the shape of them the lenses are actually pink toned they're the gentle monster i'm gonna write the lens name below but i know that these are the sakura pink nikon lenses inside but yeah i just love the shape and the color and how the lenses shine pink good morning it's another day another outfit we're gonna start shooting again natalie's here um yeah we're gonna start off the morning with shooting some new products and then 
a video and then we have we're gonna work on the website here and then we have an event later tonight for Superga which is a Korean shoe brand they make really cute shoes and they have a special collaboration with Ukes that they have limited edition sneakers I'll show you more later but yeah that's the plan for today so we're gonna get started on our work All right, now it's time to get ready for the event. I have about 30 minutes. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup. I think I'm gonna do a deeper, darker eyeshadow with like pinky tones, I think. From the Too Faced palette, I'm gonna dip into Georgia. These are the slit back pants and the Superga crossover Ukes running shoe. So they let me choose from a bunch of them and I chose these ones. Theme of the event is matchy matchy. So I decided to wear a matching gray pantsuit and in the colors that match my shoes, white and gray. today no you are no. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I just want to hide myself when I saw that crowd because I know many people I know who they are and then I know how hard it's gonna be like when I was when I saw them I was like okay it's a fashion blogger but blogger yeah even. I was like eh. it was definitely a different crowd a younger very fashionable crowd um, like high beats like hipster crowd and they looked really like, cool granny I was the Stay grandma supervising the party. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun and I'm thankful that I got to go and I really liked the shoes, but I just felt a little bit of place and I do a lot of the time. Anyways, this isn't out of the ordinary. I, I'm not very good at social events, but I try to push myself to go out and meet people. But anyways, I, when I was posing for the backdrop, there was a girl before me. She was super cute and she was doing the cute Korean heart. And so then when I went up, I was trying to figure out how to do it. First, I look like I'm Italian. <laughs> Show people this, not straight. How? How do you know this and I don't? Morning, everybody I woke up and felt the urge to skip it's been a while since I've done that and it always gives me the best body my my best body personally I get the fastest best results from it so yeah I decided to bring out my old skipping rope and I'm gonna do my old workout routine both physically and mentally. I was listening to a good podcast, looking out at the trees. I'm outside, the weather's so nice right now in Hong Kong, it's about 23 degrees or 20 degrees. Watching the dogs pass, <sighs> I feel good. Let's go start the day. I ate that whole huge bowl. I had to make myself really full because I have a lot of running around to do today and I just wanted it to last me throughout the day so I don't have to stop and 
eat anything unhealthy because there's a lot of good temptations in Hong Kong. But I got ready quickly and we're gonna head out to get my nails done first. So I have these Halloween nails still, which I love. And Halloween's actually tomorrow. I would have liked to kept them a little bit longer, like a few days to a week after Halloween. But I have a photo shoot on Friday and the brand, it's for a holiday shooting for a brand and they don't want me to have Halloween nails, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna go remove them. Done my nails, now I'm just stopping by Marks and Spencer because I got my mom to buy the kids a bunch of candy when she was going back to Canada. They have these Percy Pigs candy here and they are the best. They're my favorite candy because they're really juicy and they're made with fruit juice. Not that they're healthy, but I, I feel like that counts for something. And my nephew got them and loved them and asked me to bring him more. Auntie, you can bring these more of these. What do you say if you want something? Uh. I want one of these piggy treats. Please. Please. A day? <laughs> How long is that a day? <laughs> so here I am, I'm gonna buy a whole bunch to That's weird. I have my set. send my love and candy. <laughs> whole family pajamas. Oh, so cute. The candles here smell so good too. This one's good. Today. Marks and Spencer has their tights on at 20% off, so I stocked up for winter. I got some uh, nude ones, some black ones, and then I got a whole lot of these. These Christmas Percy Pigs are buy two get one free, so I get one for myself. I love these. And I'm gonna be sitting here for the rest of the night because I have a lot of work to do for the shop and the website. It is Friday and I just finished a photo shoot which is going to be in a whole other video. So I'm starting uh, today's vlog a little bit late. But I am now meeting Jessica because we're going to do a pedicure. And then we're going to meet up with 80 for drinks and then I'm going to meet up with Tom for dinner. So I started my photo shoot at 10, it's now 3.30. the first time ever, always a pink girl, but she is classy and sophisticated now. <laughs> Jessica's here. Hi! Show us your nails, darling. Oh, I was gonna show you my toes at first. <laughs> <laughs> she went for a deep red. Yes. Kong and you want Greek food, I highly recommend Artemis and Apollo. It's in Moon, on Moon Street in Wan Chai. It's authentic Greek food, but they, they add a lot of spice and herbs to just like give it a lot of flavor. It's packed, all the food is packed with a punch. We couldn't finish the chicken, so we took it away and I've been smelling this the whole car ride home. And now I'm gonna eat my second dinner of this chicken zuvaki. Haven't had Greek food for a while, I really hit the spot. But yeah, I think that's it for Friday night. We're gonna watch, what are we watching, babe? Uh, Money, Heist. Money Heist on Netflix. It's a Spanish series, but it's really good. So we're probably gonna watch an episode of that. And then my weekend is gonna be pretty much working on the website slash shop. So I might continue this weekly vlog next week, but yeah, I'll probably see you guys on Monday. Good morning, everybody. I didn't vlog at all last week because it was uh, it was a very boring week for you guys to watch, but very intense for me because I was just working really hard. There's not enough hours in a day. It's starting to get really stressful because I want to launch soon because a lot of my items are fall and a lot of the places in the world are pretty cold right now. A lot are still sort of warm like here, but a lot are pretty cold. So I'm on a time crunch and yeah, I just, I've been working since I opened my eyes until I close them until I can't keep them up anymore anymore every single night um, 
and we're almost there. I feel like I keep saying that we're almost there, but then I discover a whole other list of things that I need to do. I just keep adding to the list and problems keep arising. And I've had like little mini panic attacks, but <laughs> we're gonna be okay. Um, today we are shooting a couple of things, a couple of um, photos I didn't really like I wanna redo. Um, Natalie's on her way here now. And then I am going to film my storage closet slash office. We are renting, um, basically a storage office to store things until we can afford a bigger office so i need to transport some of the inventory that i have here in my house to there my bangs are freshly cut i just cut them myself i think this is going to be the last time it's been good uh, i got the change i wanted but yeah I'm, I'm gonna continue growing out my hair growing out my bangs i'm home now i'm filming for two videos today one is the main video of when I launch my my website and shop and two is this weekly vlog so I don't know what's going in what so I'm just gonna recap my day. I think most of the footage that I filmed today is gonna go into the other video but basically we did a big inventory count, brought all the inventory from wherever it was to the storage. Probably gonna be working for the rest of the night. I might go to the gym. The gym has been my one release of stress and the gym is when I come up with the best ideas. When I'm running or doing cardio, I come up with some really good things so whenever I feel a little bit stumped on an issue or have a little lack of inspiration maybe in an article or something i go to the gym and i run there or the shower these are the two places i get really good ideas good morning guys it is launch day but i have a lot to do before then first i'm gonna go skipping i have a lot to do but i have to do gaming no right <laughs> if that's your thing do your thing but i need to exercise I need to schedule an exercise, especially because I haven't for like the past two days now. <sighs> Feel good and ready to take on the day now. Look what Tom just sent to the house. I know, it's so nice. I'll set it up and you'll see. all the time with this business because I have no idea what anything is and I have to ask people so many questions especially Pong who's helping me with my website I he must feel like he's talking to like a three-year-old because I have no idea what any like lingo means and for every little thing I'm like what does that mean I don't know what that means I can't figure this out I'm driving him crazy but at the same time you have to do this when when you don't know something you have to ask you have to be curious it's the only way you can learn and and no question is a stupid question although you really feel stupid and people may feel like you are stupid but everybody's gotta start somewhere everybody knows something because someone else told them right so i'm just like feel really dumb but i'm gaining more knowledge i'm getting smarter i'm learning things i'm learning what a cache is right now i have to clear my cache and i don't know how to clear a cache i'm like is it clear by history google searching how to clear a cache cache sounds like a french word qu'est-ce que c'est un cache do i do it <laughs> Two hours till lunch time! Tom's playing PlayStation. Rosie's having chicken. Natalie's busy working away. It's down to the wire, we're still working, even though we're launching soon. I'm still editing the video that's going up tonight, both on YouTube and on social media. And we're about to order some pizzas because it is a tote party. We're having some champagne in wine glasses to celebrate because we don't have champagne glasses. About an hour and a half to go. Relax! Relax! Yeah! Toast.com! Officially live! Mm. We did it! Hey, Sean Pink. Yeah! We got our first order! Let's see who it is! Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I don't think I slept much. And... <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you this, but... Um... I feel like so much nerves and excitement and stress 
and happiness and I, I think what I can compare it to is a breakup because I there was many concerns coming in many things I didn't see that I need to handle some problems with the website issues people are having stuff people don't really like like sizing and shipping and stuff and uh, it feels like a breakup it feels like you've worked on something for a long time and then suddenly you're not really It's, it's like the same stress when you're like shitting like crazy. Mm. I woke up and that's what happened instantly. You know those stress nerves. I'm dealing with so many things, but that's really fun at the same time. And it's like making my heart beat. Look at all my new friends. I'm finally off the toilet on and on the way to the office slash my storage closet um, to start shipping. <laughs> But oh my god, I can't describe the feeling. It's not really like stress. It's well, it's stress and excitement and so many emotions at the t same time. I have so many feelings to process that I'm just exploding. <laughs> Thank you for making me explode. Because uh, I think my body doesn't know how to handle it. It's not used to this. Packing up our first order. It's Allison from New York. Thank you so much. All right, the first batch is ready. It is 6 p.m. We're just waiting for the one group of shippers to come and pick these up. And yeah, I wrote you guys a little note. Um, it's been such a fun day packing everything. I can't wait for you to receive it. But um, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna pack everything up, finish up here, ship things out, and I guess this is the vlog. I'm gonna go home and sleep because I'm gonna get home pretty late today. Hey guys, before I end this vlog, I feel like I didn't really explain how I was feeling or express my gratitude to you properly. And now that I've had some time for my body and my mind to calm down a lot and really process my feelings, I wanna talk. What you saw in my last video, you, when I opened the video, you could see that I was very nervous and I knew that when I filmed that part of the video, that was the last thing I had to do before putting it out. So I was scared to do it because I felt like I always, you, you'll never feel like you're ready to put something out into the world and receive feedback. That That's the hardest part. I think that's what holds people back the most. If it's not the beginning part of the documentation and stuff or money and time, um, one of the major like mental things you have to go through is like just putting yourself out there and receiving feedback, receiving judgment. And a lot of people stop before they get to that point because they're scared about that. They're scared to see what people think and they're scared to fail. But yeah, I did it. I put it out there. And honestly, the feedback has been amazing. You guys have been so supportive. You've been loving the site. If you found anything um, that you, thought could improve you've either messaged me or emailed me or let me know in some way and I'm so grateful for that and that helps me feel like we're building this together because I've taken so much of your constructive criticism and I've learned so much from you and I've applied it and that's the only way that I can grow that anyone can grow putting a project out there into the world that you've spent so much time and effort and money on is really really scary but a lot of times people will find faults. There's gonna be mistakes. You're gonna have issues, especially when you're doing things for the first time. There's ways you can look at things. There's there's feedback that you, you can understand what people are saying, but maybe you don't completely agree with, so you're gonna kind of understand, but stay on your own path. And then there's straight up hate that you, no matter what you do, or it, even if you change what they're saying, they're still gonna find reasons to not like you. So for that, you can just kind of push it to the side because um, it kind of just gets in your way and slows you down. And then there's um, the people that really want to see you do well, that are supportive and are giving you constructive criticism and that you can take and improve and get better. So putting it out there and receiving comments that maybe you weren't hoping for isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's all how you control it in your mind. It can be a very positive thing and that's how I've chosen to take it. For the most part, everything has gone really well. You guys in general really, really like it. There is some feedback that I've, I've taken to heart that I knew would happen. Um, Sizing is a huge issue, I'm aware of that. I knew it would be. It's really hard to source clothes in Asia. Sizing tends to be smaller. There's a lot of this free size and a lot of people in other countries don't understand what is free size. It's supposed to be a one size fits all, but it definitely does not fit all. Um, so I tried to choose free size things that are quite adjustable with straps or belts or stretchy elastics and that sort of thing to fit as many people as possible or oversized. 
Um, I guess that's why the oversized sweater sold out pretty fast. But that's now I know what you guys like. I know that those are things that I should look for more of. And I, of course, want to have every kind of size. My dream is for everyone to wear my clothes. And when I have my own brand one day and when I can produce my own clothes and, and choose everything myself, I will have that. But that takes time and takes a lot of money. And I need to start where I can and save up money in order to get to that point. And I also need to understand you guys more. So this first small step, doing all that was really risky. Maybe I would have completely failed and I couldn't, I didn't even have the resources to do that, to be honest. But doing this in a smaller way and learning about what you guys want, seeing what you like and sort of also figuring out what I like and my style and my brand is um, a really good way for me to start. But believe me, I'm trying to find other sizes. I'm really working on it. I may need to go to other sources, other countries. I'm trying to figure it out and I probably, and I'll, I'll do so as soon as possible. So thank you so much for your patience. I know it takes a lot of courage to reach out and talk about these things. And it breaks my heart when people are saying like, oh, I, I need to lose weight to fit into your clothes because that's not what I want at all. All body shapes and sizes are beautiful and will look beautiful in the fashion that I have or other fashion. It's just Asia is very limited and it, it sucks. I hate it, but I'm trying really hard to find other sources. Uh, shipping wise, I'm very limited to what's in Hong Kong. Not only does it need to be in Hong Kong, but it also needs to work with the Shopify platform. It needs to link. So that has been very hard. Thank you so much for the feedback on the website. There's been a bunch of issues with viewing it in different countries like Italy and Hungary and parts of UK. I finally fixed that. It was something with the DNS. I don't understand it all, but that's now fixed. So thank you. Anything you notice, you guys always write to me and tell me. And a ton of you guys have sent in your resumes. Thank you so much. I'm trying to read through them all, but um, it's, it's just been very overwhelming. I will let you know when I'm looking for someone, I'll let you know the specific job title and requirements I'm looking for. And that's when you can send them to me because that's when I'll really be looking and reading. Right now, it's really hard. So if you don't get a reply from me, it's not that I don't want to work with you or want you to be on the team. It's just that it's not the right time financially and yeah i'm just i'm just very overwhelmed and trying to keep up with everything because natalie and i are doing this ourselves and it's been very um there's a lot of things a lot of things to do especially when you're packaging and shipping yourself and then handling all the emails and then trying to get new products and do the products and do the articles and i'm trying to keep up with social media and tote social media now and youtube videos so it is a lot but i'm enjoying it very much i'm having so much fun i've I feel more alive than ever like oh, I'm just so excited and I'm so happy that you guys love the website and that you guys love the shop and are excited for new things to come in it really means a lot to me and yeah I just want to thank you I want to thank you for anything you've done whether it's buy something whether it's read an article whether it's give me some feedback whether it's um telling me something I can do a little bit better thank you thank you thank you thank you great the end of this vlog. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys very soon with another video. I have filmed a lot, but I just haven't had time to edit. So I am gonna try and get them all out as soon as possible. Uh, all right, bye. What else you get in there? What else is it? More! Oh, more! Oh, look at what! More! Look what these ones have on their heads. Pinkle! No, Santa hat! Like. Dinosaur feet! I want to try one! I want to try one! What do you say to Auntie Tango? Thank you, Auntie Clay and Kofu.